You're watching John G13's My Lunch Break and I'm playing Paper Mario with Thousand Year Door. Let's go! Uh, no, no 100 trials today, no thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, if you were watching yesterday, I was like, right, I'm gonna go speak to Don Piana, which is what I'm supposed to do in the story at this point. And um, I got distracted, I stumbled upon the, um, the pit of 100 trials. And I was like, oh, there was a there was a side quest where I'm supposed to go and meet somebody by the entrance of the Pit of 100 Trials. So I was like, all right, all right, I'll go do that. I'll go do a few, few of the trials just to see what's up. Uh, and I, and th then I basically got trapped by the game because like you can't leave you can't leave the Pit of 100 Trials apart from every, I don't know, 10 or so uh, floors. Am I going the wrong way? No, I need to go up. I'll find the way out eventually. Oh, there's a Shine Sprite that I never actually got here. Do I have the ability to hit the switch yet? I wonder if Coops. Well, can you do it? Nope. Uh, I wonder if Coops can do it. Very strange. Anyway, um, yeah. So, so like, I was trying to. <laughs> I was like, all right, it's like, it's like 22. It's like quarter two of like 15 minutes over the end of my stream, and I couldn't quit. And I was like, no, I'm gonna do it. Um, and so yeah, my entire 45 minute stream yesterday, I still didn't find or speak to Don Piano, which is what I said I was going to set out to do. So um, yeah, <laughs> hopefully I might get around to it today. That'd be good. That'd be good. Um, but yeah, it was kind of fun though, like it was, it was interesting doing the pit. Like, um, it was getting like really quite difficult towards the bottom of it as well, uh, but I was getting some good... Um, good numbers of star points like the further down I got as well because like the first five or ten levels I was getting <laughs> deep deep fried what's his name again bluey <laughs> deep fried blooper bad times I passed like five save blocks I feel like I'm getting over my, my thing about wanting to save literally every save block that I pass um right anyway uh, uh yeah I'm not actually sure. I'm not sure where Dumpiana is. Although I haven't tried. I realize I haven't tried going in all the houses, which is what I might have to do. But there was also there was a bit that I didn't explore uh, in the tunnels as well. Um, but I, I'm I'm just gonna go and explore them because I'll find some I'll find some interesting stuff regardless. Girl, my wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my no on my novel. <laughs> I wish I could have fun too. I want to go to Glitzville and see the matches. Okay, cool. All right, so this guy is this guy's. Um, oh man, I, I, I really want to quote. Yeah, I'm gonna quote like a ten year old Family Guy joke. This show shows my age. Just like this guy's just 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 working on his novel. He just he just fledging out, fledging out his novel. Just just working on some some. Yeah. Anyway, my mom just plays games all day long. This is it. We're seeing. This is the lady that was in the parlor gambling. Right. We're seeing the, the real damage that gambling addiction does to toad families all over the world. It's really sad. She doesn't have a job. She never cleans. It's terrible. Yeah. Wait, hang on. Am I trapped in? No, okay. Well, those guys are trapped in here. That's not her, is it? <laughs> Go no, no, this is the lady. Okay, this is, I've spoken to her already. Um, that's the one that was uh, starstruck by uh, Madame Flurry. But yeah, there's, there's the, the lady, the toad lady that's just inside the, the um, parlor, just gambling on the slot machines all day. It's a real problem. Like, I'm surprised that Nintendo had the balls to confront this back in 2002, four. I can't actually remember this game called. Uh, yet another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed doing nothing. Oh, guess what? I won first prize in the Happy Lucky Lottery today. <gasps> I need to check my number. I didn't even go outside. I should have gone to collect my prize. Oh, well. I'm already rich anyway, so whatever. Nice. Um, yeah, let's go and, let's go and check. Because, um, <clears throat> well, it's been like 24 hours. So no doubt, however, however uh, inaccurate the clock on my Wii is, it's probably still going to have ticked over midnight at some point. <clears throat> Happy Lucky Lottery Board. Today's number. All right, well, we, we know the rules. Today's winning number is 3977. We didn't match a single number. <laughs> Sorry, it's an unlucky day. No matches today. But every day brings a new trance, so try again, okay? Here's a consolation prize. I got a mushroom, woo! That's, that's pretty good. Coming in tomorrow? Yeah. Does that just roll forever then? I just paid once and then it's, <laughs> that's it. That's my entry to the lottery is just there forever. Um. Right, I didn't see any like. Oh, there's a sneaky bit there, I guess. Can I sneak around there? Doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe? No, no, okay. Um, yeah, there's like one more door for me to check up here. <coughs> no, I've already been in this. This is the shop. This is the shop that sells the items. Is that back door? No. 
<laughs> the lottery's confusing, to be honest. Yeah. But hey ho. Right, um. So I think, yeah, if I just drop down the grate again, <clears throat> and then there was a way that I didn't go yesterday because I got distracted by the pit of. the pit of many trials. Whoop! And there's a couple. Uh, that one probably just goes back up to the surface, uh, but I didn't try it actually yesterday. <clears throat> uh, right, so. I mean, this does look like the kind of place. It doesn't seem to open. This does look like the kind of place where there would be a mob hideout. Um, let's speak to these guys. Oh, I get it. You're trying to open that giant door way down there, aren't you? What do you think's behind that thing, huh? Um, is Gumbella gonna tell me the interesting. Oh, wait, what, what button is it? It's Lefty Fad. Yeah, there we go. So I'm trying to get in the habit of doing that because it's like, it saves me precious clicks, guys. Oh, I, oh no, I just, I just spoke to this guy. <laughs> That's a subterranean Goomba. I think he just moved down here recently. Even so, he sure seems to know a lot about these ruins. What's he do for a living? Psst. I don't know, is he a ruined tour guide or something? Yo, Eddie the Mask here, sports fan extraordinaire. Know about the stylish moves? Ooh, is this guy gonna teach me that thing that Wonderham was telling me about? Just press A with perfect timing during an attack to pull off a stylish move. If you do it right, the crowd will go nuts and some attacks have multiple ones. Each attack has different timing for stylish moves, but I'll share one with you. Right after you hammer on an enemy, try pressing A. Sound hard? Well, it ain't easy. That's why you gotta practice, yo! Oh, this guy knows. Oh, that's- okay, so that's the other side- that's me, the other side of the, the bit with the, um, fortune tellers. Ooh! St stumbled across a star piece. Those star pieces are everywhere. Is that water shallow enough that it won't kill me if I jump in it? Oh, <laughs> Just fell in by accident, so... You got Sussump! Execute superbly to make enemies soft. Alright. Why, why, why would I want to make enemies soft? Does that make them take more damage or something? I don't know. Right, what's up here? Oh, got it. I can open that door. Oh, is this another shop? There's lots of shops. What's that? Is that gold? A uh, gold bar. Three gold bars. Uh, hi there! Welcome to the Deep Down Depot! <laughs> what can I do for you? Um... No, it's fine. Soft equals defense down. Yeah, yeah, okay. Restores 50 FP! Wow. Makes allies recover FP gradually for a brief period. These are quite good. But, like... I, sh I should be okay without using, like, crazy items for a bit. Anything back here? Nothing. Huh. Right, well. Well, I don't think I tried the one left today. Oh, oh, this could be... <clears throat> this looks like it has the makings. Oh, a visitor, eh? Hey, man, this dude knows everything. He'll give you some seriously good advice. Of course, you'll have to pay him for it. Yeah, that's the way it goes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, um... um <laughs> uh, there's a Canadian television show called uh, Trailer Park Boys, which has like a cult following on Netflix, I guess. And there's just a, a guy in it who's just like, it's, it's, it's the fucking way she goes. <laughs> it's the way. Oh, sorry. It's just whenever someone says that, I just, just get it stuck in my head. All right, anyway. Howdy! My name's Wonky, and I just know stuff. That's a good talent. I mean, I don't look like much, but I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows? The stuff I know may even be stuff that could help you. Well, yeah, so if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. From here? Uh, 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 something you want to ask of old wonky, right? You pay me five coins, I suppose I can tell you about the incident I saw. Um, alright, I'm a gambling, gambling man in this game. Mario's a gambler. So I saw this really cute girl in a pink dress walking around town a while back, that'll be Peach. She was pretty enough to be a princess, I tell you. Definitely Peach. She hung around town for a little while after buying something from that old lady. That'll be the map. This is from the cutscene at the start of the game, I guess. I guess. Then she got nabbed in a back alley by a bunch of suspicious guys in white suits. Um, x not then, I guess? I'm pretty sure the only person who saw- I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who saw this, though. Old Wonky was scared. <laughs> Referring to himself in the third person as Old Wonky. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I guess it's neither here nor there. People get kidnapped. Whatever. Still, just knowing what's going on in these streets can be helpful sometimes. And that is that. If you need anything else, just ask Old Wonky. You got any other interesting tidbits of advice? Something you want to ask Old Wonky, right? 
If you pay me five coins, I suppose I can tell you about the Legend of Rogueport. No, that's fine. I know the Legend of Rogueport. If you need to know stuff about stuff, just ask me. All right, cool. I know stuff too. Seriously. Like, when the wind blows, the cradle will fall. All right, nice. I just don't know why it falls. Because no one tells me. That's that's it. <laughs> this Bob Bob one's down here. That pink color's really cute. But I think this is a dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his own ambitions of being an info guy like Wonky, selling tips for cash. But his tips don't even make the tiniest bit of sense. Hello? Can you say stupid? <laughs> Harsh. What is this place? Who are you? Is this a bar or something? Like an underground bar? This is a special re uh, refuge for all where we cultivate information. Herb Tea's place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. Nice. Am I st oh, I thought I was stuck there for a moment. Um... Well, I mean, th this guy might tell this guy might tell me something useful, <laughs> something you want to know, ask of old Wonky, right? If you pay me five coins, I suppose I can tell you about what's hidden below. No, I know what's hidden below. Uh, <laughs> something you want to ask of old Wonky, right? I'm gonna stop reading that part. I can tell you about the mysterious troops. Uh, no. Uh, it's good that I can cycle through the stuff that knows to find something that I'm interested in. The mysterious troops again. No. Is it random? Or does it just reach did I just reach the end of the um oh, I can tell you about battle techniques. Ooh. Alright. I hear the best way to fill your battle code up is to succeed at action commands. Especially when you succeed at several in a row. Ooh, I hear that's great. Also, beating enemies quickly and striking first can build your crowd too. That might be good to remember. That's not really that useful. And that is that. That's a nice waste of five coins. All right, what else you got? Uh, no. Do you know what? Actually, I might ask him about what's hidden below. About the big door. Oh, okay, right, fine. Oh, is he talking about the thousand year door? I've only seen it once myself, but if there really is some legendary treasure down here, it's hidden behind that door. Yeah, when I saw it, I got a feeling there was bad stuff going on in there. In fact, I've been too heebie-jeebie to get near that door ever since. You talking about the thousand year door? And that is that. That was a waste. <laughs> oh, right, what else do we got? The charmer? Alright, what's the charmer? You know there's a charmer named Merle down here somewhere. Oh, man, Merle. Uh, <laughs> if you get her to charm you, you'll get good stuff in battle. Not only that, but she's a total babe. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Old Wonky's crushing on <laughs> Merle. <laughs> Old Wonky would love to get a date with her. I'm serious. You have to check her out sometime. And that is that. Anything else? All right. Okay, I think, I think I'm done here. I think I'm done. I wasted, like... Like, I don't know, 20 coins in that guy. Um, I've checked out most of the. So, so, this one doesn't seem to open. Is there like a secret back entrance back here? Oh! Another star piece? There's just star pieces like littered about in places where you just can't see them. Right. I mean, there's that one in the background there, but I couldn't figure out how to get there. I'm just gonna dodge this guy. Is there anything else right here? Oh, okay, there's a shine sprite up there, but <clears throat> I can't make that ju that jump's a little bit too far to make. Um, the warp pipe, oh, I'll save, I'll save, because I haven't saved in a while. That warp pipe will probably, um, well, I feel like I want to just explore, explore everything that, um, <clears throat> there is to explore around here, and it'll hopefully turn itself up, but, like, if I get to the end of this episode and I still don't find it, I'll, I'll, I'll noise you up for a hint. <laughs> um... Right, this does just bring you right back up to the top. Um, ah, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. The only peaceful area in all of Ropor. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I wonder if there's like anything I'm missing. So, can't go down that alley. There's not really anything back here. Um, well, I guess I could speak to the guy again. That boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. That's Rocco, the Piantas. He's the muscle that keeps this parlor moving smoothly. He's new to the Pianta Syndicate. I think he's still a low man in the totem pole. Um, I might have a look inside the parlor again. Just make sure there's nothing. That's the the poor lady with the gambling addiction. Is this um. Oh, I forgot that I had the secret, the secret technique to do that. Um, 
I'm trying to think if there was anything I went past that would I could usefully destroy it by doing that. I don't think so. I think um, there, it worked on places where there was like a hole in the floor already, but... <laughs> Alright, what's down here? Well, it's the train station and the blimp station, but I wonder if I just missed an entrance to here. It's cool. This is, this is what it's like watching me play uh, adventure games where you have to actually explore and shit. Oh. Ah, you gotta love train platforms, man. I bet this place has seen as many dramatic encounters as there are stars in space. Wow, the thought of it all. I just love it. Amazing. Right, you know what? I'll see what happens if I actually say I want to ride the train. This train is bound for luxurious partially heights. Will you be boarding today? Yeah, wonderful. If you don't mind, please allow me to check your ticket, which I don't have. Oh, I'm sorry, but only ticketed passengers are allowed in the train. Security measures. Yeah, that's that's fine. You gotta toughen up, toughen up security measures. That makes sense. All right, so the blimps in the background there. Can't get this past this guy without a ticket. Um, I feel like this is everywhere that's above. Um, because this is this is West Roadport right here, right? Uh, uh, I couldn't just scooch down that. Definitely can't scooch down there. No, couldn't scooch down the side of that. Uh, looks like there's an upstairs there. Oh, that's the doormat, right? Uh, back door, nope, no use. Okay, that actually isn't upstairs in here. Uh, I'll go and see what um, Frankly had to say again. Um, it's, it's just, I'm pretty sure he just said West West Roadport is what he said. Um, but I'll, I'll double check anyway. Um, Yeah, I do like trying to sneak down, <laughs> down, um, down little thin alleyways, now that I know that's a thing you can do. Um, so, got the contact. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I guess it could be to do with the... Uh, oh, we're looking for uh, Don Pianta. Um, yeah, I was saying uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find him for myself, but I'll if I don't if I get to the end of this stream and don't find him, I'll, I'll noise you guys up for a hint. Um, no, this is the bulletin board. I've gone past uh, Franklin's. I've explored pretty much. Oh, it's <laughs> squadrons as go. Yeah. Um, uh, tonight. Oh, I'll, I'll just take, take this opportunity to plug it. At like 6 p.m. Although we're always late starting. Uh, group stream, jet stream radio. Uh, we're playing um, <coughs> Star Wars Squadrons tonight. Once you get a blim ticket from Don Pianta on the west side, you can go to Glitzville. It just says west side, and that is. Um, yeah, that is west rope. Well, hang on. It does say the Roadport sewers are towards the west there. Eh? I've got a title log there. That's quite useful. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, we're playing Star. We're playing Star Wars Squadrons tonight. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do three hours in VR. But like, I, I get. I, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I do get like pretty bad headaches after playing VR for like any length of time, um, which is a shame because it is pretty fun, especially for like cockpit games. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I haven't checked in this room for a while, and I'm wondering if I might have got a power up that lets me do something. You got some kind of problem? You think you can just barge into my hideout, buddy? You're probably just jealous. Nobody's snooping around here. It's the perfect spot. With all this garbage, there are tons of flies and stuff. Who'd want to come in here? Exactly. Well, I mean, we're in here. That's a bandit who's made this place's hideout. I'm pretty sure I met this guy right at the start. <clears throat> it seems he totally loves this place. But would it kill him to clean up a bit? All right. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and play some play in VR. I, I, I booted up yesterday, and it's weird because like the um, the Tie Fighter cockpit. I, like I've got my ultra wide monitor, and the Tie Fighter cockpit is just like a little circular window, just like in the middle of it. <laughs> you just see out of, and uh, most most of what you can see on the ultra wide monitor is just the edge of the Tie Fighter. So it's a bit rubbish for that. Uh, <laughs> Hold a memorial for my stomach. Yeah. Bad times. Right, um, I'll try the sewers again. There's probably a path that I'm not taking down there. Unless I can just smash these bins and stuff. Um, I'm trying to think if I have spoken to absolutely a speak to this guy. Don Pianta? Are you kidding? Ordinary guys like me never get to meet a guy like him. Even if you were to meet him, there's no telling what he might do to you. If you really, really want to... Oh, the Rubble Boss. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, I bet I'll know how to get in touch with Don Pianta. There you go, the game the game just tells me. 
I should have spoken to people instead of <laughs> instead of exploring. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. <laughs> right. Well, um, I can just I can just go and speak to Ishno, you know, kind of. Uh, I feel like he's just he's just hanging out in one of these uh, houses. Or is he out front? Um, no, that's Frankly's house. Um, talk about convenient. That's pretty convenient. Hey, this area is the turf of Ishnail and the Rubber Band of Thieves. The boss usually hiding out in a back alley that few people can spot. Right, so... So actually... I think I need... Um, I, I need the boat power to do anything here. Is that right? No, there's a door. <sighs> Bad times. I can't believe I never noticed that. Oh. <laughs> that thought walked into a cutscene there. You want something? Jump! This is the fortress of Robo Feeds. You lost. What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it ain't a vacation. <laughs> What's that? You want to meet that lying, cheating, stealing, no good, jerky for brains Don Pianta? Yeah, that, that would help. <laughs> Real thieves like us end up uh, end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come? Yeah. Did you come here knowing all that? Yeah. <laughs> And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that, and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Yeah, please. <laughs> Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budget on the price, not a single coin. <laughs> Forget you, pal. Inside info's pricey, them's the brakes. What? Oh, fine, I get it, don't wanna pay, huh? Fine, no pay, no way, I see. Come back when you're ready to stop being a cheapskate. Um, oh, I guess he's not up for negotiating. Hey, we don't have much here, but make yourself a home if you want. Oh, that's nice. These guys are nice, nice gangsters. <laughs> Where do you get off talking to me like nothing happened? Like there was no whooping? Oh, this is the guy I beat up earlier. Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're all like, wah! <clears throat> like, wah! All right, fine, I'll pay, I'll pay you 64 coins. <laughs> What? You gotta be kidding me! D I <laughs> you really want me to tell you how to meet Don Piana, the scum of the earth? Yeah. Fine, Mr. Inside the Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. Uh, fine. You you'll pay? Really? Uh, no. What? Are you gonna pay me or are you not gonna pay me? Make up your mind! <laughs> Come back once you get your priorities straight, chumpy. <laughs> What? You gotta be- oh man. Yeah, wa wa <laughs> Mario turns into Waluigi when he loses, apparently. Uh, right. Fine. I will, I'll, I'll bloody pay this guy. I'm gonna pay him, right? <laughs> yeah, you heard me. Oh, it's so much money. Yes! I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins on the nose. Okay then, clean those ears and listen here. I swear, right, if it turns out that this is something I could have done if I'd just been, like, smart enough, I'll be really mad. <laughs> There's a parlor in the west part of town that's run by that worm dumb piano. Yep, been there. Go to the store next to it and buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried shroom, dizzy dial. You got that? You do that and the shopkeeper's gonna ask you what your favourite colour is. You answer yellow. You got that? Not green, not blue, yellow. You hear me? Alright, makes sense. See, yellow is a password for getting into Don, Don Scumbag's oh so comfy office. You got all that? Yeah. I think. It was a shroom. It's the shroom first, and then the dizzy. Th Ooh, there's something on the roof there. Can I get up there? I uh, probably need to go out of a side door on the roof to get up there, maybe. That's cool. I feel like I've made a very good net. Net profit on um, star pieces today uh, through just like wandering around in the sewers because uh, they're just all down there apparently. The sewers are hoarding all of the star pieces. Uh, how are we doing for time? Right, we're gonna meet Don Pianta today, boys. We're gonna do it. It's actually gonna happen. I'm, I can't believe it. Um, unless I have to go through another quest of a thousand bullshits in order to meet him. You never know. Right, um. So, well, I'm hoping I've got enough money to buy all the, all the stuff. Is it going to make me buy the stuff? It probably is. Right. Uh, at least it was, wasn't like money wasted, because there's no way I would have figured that out. So it's the dried shroom, and then the dizzy dial, and then my favourite colour is yellow. Okay. 
It's gonna be two coins for that dried shroom. Care to buy it, cutie? Uh-oh, we've been hit on by the ghost. <laughs> hey, sweetie, it looks to me like you can't carry on any more items. Bummer. Oh, go- Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Siri thought I was talking to her there. Bad times. <laughs> I'll say something after you use sell or store more, uh, some of your things, okay? Um, can I store stuff with you? Hey there, cutie, welcome to Westside Goods. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, I can store some stuff. I can store 32 more items for you, hun. Wanna store something? Um, I've already got a dizzy dial. Let's store that. Store that for you. Anything else you want? Okay, um... I'll store it in... in... in coupon. <laughs> yeah! Siri likes to be called Sweetie, apparently. Oh, no! <laughs> Kill me! <laughs> oh, bad times. <laughs> then I'll store it for you, okay? <laughs> Anything else you want to store? Uh, no. Right. So we'll buy the dried shroom. Yeah! Oh, thanks, sugar! And the dizzy dial. It's gonna be 12 coins for that dizzy dial. Can I buy it? Yep. Oh, thanks, sugar! <laughs> yeah, yeah, here we go. Alright, mister, what color is your mustache? Is this a trick? Because that's not her asking what my favorite color is. But also none of those are the right answer. Because uh, Myra's mustache is brown, right? It's not black. Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Um, okay, mister, what's your favorite color? Okay, it's, it's yellow. Uh-huh. Well, you can check out... Well, yeah, okay, you could you could check out... <laughs> Well, you check out. You know the password. So, uh, you must be an acquaintance of Don Piano. Good for you. Yeah, good times. Good times, us knowing the mob boss. Oh, we're going around the back. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. So, wait, hang on. Her mouth doesn't move when she's talking to us, but it does when she's up at the door like that. That's a bit strange. Um, right, I must remember that I left an in-coupon with her, because it would be quite useful at some point to go to the inn. I've got another one, but I'll probably forget. Um, is this the guy? Are you the guy? No, that's the guy. Alright, well, let's speak to them anyway. Hey, <laughs> this is the office of the piano syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. <laughs> you got no business here. scram -lam. Okay. <laughs> What's with you? What? A wise guy, huh? <laughs> it's a wise guy. <laughs> I ain't too jolly today, but if you got a beef, spit it out. Qu quicker, this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You want, uh, you want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, no, to me, that's funny. You stand-up comedian? No, you ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm dumb piano. I make crying babies weep. Makes crying babies weep. <laughs> you want to run this bum out on a rail bus? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> what a roof. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? <laughs> Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. <laughs> he just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So, we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So, I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Oh, out with it. He's like, hey, what's that? You want to go help some broad who well, got herself kidnapped? Yeah. And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting crystal stars? Yep. The crystal stars. Hey, boss, ain't those the things that legend about Asian treasure? These guys are really, it's really difficult to read their, their dialogue. It's not quite as bad as the one that the game really wanted me to read in a stereotypical French accent earlier that I just refused, but... <laughs> Vinny, you're such a dope! Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. <laughs> fairy tale nothing, that treasure's real. Is that Goombella? Everybody, just shut it. I don't care if the treasure's real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. <laughs> I made my decision! You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. It's unfair, right? All right, we're doing a mob hit. We're, that Mario's now a hitman. Wait, what's the favor? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter, <laughs> my own daughter, <laughs> eloped with one of my young associates. <laughs> they vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to be still nearby. You gotta find my da da daughter. You gotta find my daughter, Fran Francesca. <laughs> and this is Frankie. Frankie and Francesca, nice. 
and bring them both back here. If you're unable to bring them back here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly. And with what is known as extreme prejudice. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Boss. We don't know nothing about this guy. Can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. <laughs> Leave it us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! <laughs> Quiet, you! <laughs> I thought it was... <laughs> it's because you lugs can't find it. I gotta swallow my pride and that's this guy. I hope you dope say making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss, whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend, then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I can... Yeah, that, they're quite memorable. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Ooh. Do we get any clues or anything? Are we clear on this point? If you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Um, right, well. Shit. <laughs> no clues or anything. This is Rogueport's west side. Oh no, it's, it's not. Not that it's, you know, a great place to raise a family, but it's good for Rogueport. The corner with the fountain is definitely the most restful spot in Rogueport. This area is controlled by Dom Piano. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. Yeah, the shop and parlor here totally fronts for his business. Um, any titles new guys? That's Tony. <laughs> Tony! Hey, Tony! Should I just, should, should I just, like, get good at my, like, um, like, mafia, like, mobster accent? I, I don't think I've got a particularly good one, but I feel like we just need to read these guys' dialogues out in, in that, that kind of voice. Uh, Tony, <laughs> Tony's a wise guy! <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't mind mixing it up a bit, if you know what I mean. Uh, what about this guy? Any, is, oh, no, no, okay. Fine. Yep. Okay, you didn't just say, uh, 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 maybe just swell if Francesca was happy too. Um, oh, maybe, to tell the truth, I don't want you guys finding Frankie. <laughs> he and I go back. <laughs> it's the cla <laughs> clamps. <laughs> Frankie took care of me. <laughs> nah, I can't tell if we do. Yeah, <laughs> washed over me like a brother. I owe it to that guy. No, I owe that guy. Um... I was hoping those guys might might rat on them to tell, tell me where they are, but... So they, they took off somewhere. Uh, anyway, we've run over the end of my stream for today, so um, I'll probably just save up an exit there. Unless there's some like juicy gossip like hanging about. Any interest in change the rogue port now that I've spoken to Don Piana? No, it's not that guy. Um, they didn't give me a ticket to get out of here or anything, so it's probably still, they're probably still in Rogueport somewhere. I I'm honestly can't quite remember, let's, let's have a look in the journal. Um, that's for like foes and stuff. Uh, did he say, he didn't say where she got, he just said they took off, right? But we don't know where. Um, and there was like no leads right there. Ah, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. Uh, it's the only peaceful place in all of Rogueport. Right, well, it, it looks like a good place to end up for today anyway. Um, they're not far away. Okay. Well. Oh, I might. I'll look for like a minute, for a couple minutes, right? I'll look for a couple minutes. See if they just turn up. Hmm. Hmm, this guy here before? Hey, how are you doing? What? Me? Oh, I'm on top of the world, baby. Yeah, just fan Goombatastic. Nice. Must have won something. Um, I'm trying to think of a good good hideout spot. They're not far away. They really aren't. Uh, oh man, that just makes me want to find it more. Uh, that back alley there? No, that's where I was earlier. Uh, where Dumpiano was. I hope I can just go back up to Dumpiano's fort at any time. I could just explore the houses here. No, okay, I've been here. Spent hours looking for them as a kid and felt real dumb afterwards. Oh boy. I bet it's gonna be that kind of thing where... Um, Alright, well, as a, as a small clue, is it somewhere where I've already, like, it's a place that I've been to already, but there was nothing there because I hadn't triggered the, um... I hadn't triggered them to be there. 
I've got it. I've got it. I think I figured it. I've cracked the case, guys. Um, I would like to hit a save block. Before. No, I'm just gonna. Yeah, okay. I don't. I think I know. Although, would they be able to get down here? Probably. And then it was across this way to the right. And then there was the door. No, there was the height at the bar. The bar place. Well, I'll try the door first. Doesn't seem to open. Uh, nope, not this one. But there is another There is another bar up on the surface. Um, I'll just check it. They're not hiding out in the warehouse thing here. Or whatever it was. I can't even remember what this was. It could be the um, the place where there's the the um, guy that just hides out in the fortress where it's really kind of uh, not fortress. He hides out in a room that's really stinky and full of flies and stuff. So I definitely can't open the door. I'm trying to get yeah, this open. Oh, I felt like I, I felt like I cracked the case there. Uh, I'll save it real quick. Um, oh, I feel like I just have to try like one more place. I'll, I'll try one more, and then if that's not it, then uh, I'll, I'll give up for today and pick this up pick this up tomorrow um i just i want to crack the case man i want to crack it um right yeah because there was that weird there's a well i'll try the bar as well then um which is I can't actually remember which one the, the inn is, but... Okay, they're not in here. Right. I'll try... I'll try one more go. I feel like I'm, li I'm the, um... The toad that's in the... In the parlor. Just like, one more spin? Uh, there wasn't another thing back here, was there? No. I was just like, come on, I gotta spin, gotta spin the wheel one more time. I gotta spin one more time. Um, yeah, that's the inn here. Um... That's the captain guy. Up here in the inn. Nope. Right, I don't think... I don't think it's here. That's fine. Oh, except... Alright, one one more lead. One more lead to chase, guys. One more lead. Um, do you know what? Even if I find them, I, I, won't, I won't trigger the cutscene, right? I'll, I'll save it for... Um, for tomorrow you know if you rattle it out you get some interesting information regarding that to interesting um which one was it uh it's, yeah from the back alley here i'm thinking it might it might be in the robo hideout because these guys don't like don piano so it'd be in their best interest to try and hide somebody from nope all right, that's me. That's me all out of, out of ideas for today, but that's fine um, because otherwise I would have just been here for literally hours trying to solve this. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'll go and I'll go and save up for today. Oh man, oh I just I felt like I felt like I really wanted to crack the case, but uh, it's fine. I'll I'll get it. I'll get it tomorrow. I've got half an hour to wander about and and choke and not find them tomorrow. Uh, so there's that. Oh, that's the Robo Hideout, isn't it? Um, cool, right, well, let's go save up. Such suspense, I know, right? They're not just, like, standing in plain sight and, um... No, fine. Fine. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, that's, that's me for today. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow at uh, the same time, 1 p.m. UK time, playing more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Um, I must, I must have just broken the the 10 hour barrier in this game today, actually. By the way, uh, but yeah, it's a long game. I didn't realize when I started because every other game I've been done with it in like three weeks max, whereas this one I've just been at it for like ever. But uh, yeah, really, really enjoying playing it though. I, I'm gonna carry on until it's completed, so like a month from now. Um, but yeah, I'm back every every weekday at 1 p.m. Uh, playing this, um, and also tonight uh, on on my uh, I'm part of a group stream, uh, and it's in the the um, 
chat just there. Jetstream Radio, uh, we're playing at 6pm UK time, we're playing uh, Star Wars Squadrons, which should be fun because none of us have really played that much of it since we got it. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. Um, I, oh yeah, also, sorry, <laughs> I've, made I've made myself a little thing of stuff that I'm supposed to remember at the end of the stream, so here we go. Uh, you can suggest games, you can suggest games for me and uh, give me feedback and stuff as well. Uh, on that new exciting high-tech forum and I'll probably look at the feedback at some point um, and the game suggestions at some point. I've got a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna play after this but uh, that was just like I'm not even like halfway through this game I don't think so it'd be be a while before that happens. Um, anyway yeah thanks for tuning in I'll be back tomorrow at the same time see you see you then.